Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David and I have been a magician for over 40 years. And so I bring all that experience every single day as I review magic tricks Monday through Friday. I get them, I open the box, and tell you exactly what you get for your money so that there's absolutely no surprises. On the weekends, I review decks of cards, and once a month, I also do a giveaway. Every single year, I give away thousands of dollars worth of magic. So if you're an aspiring magician or currently a magician, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and follow. Push those buttons because uh, it's fun. Today, we're looking at PTSD from Mark Lemon and addsomelemon.com. What is PTSD? PTSD is like it says, perfect card prediction. It is the perfect card prediction because you're gonna have an envelope, the spectator is gonna call out a card and you're gonna pull that card out of the envelope. Just like that. It's like the world's smallest, most thinnest card index. It really is. Um, what do you get with this? You're gonna get a handful of plastic PVC cards, so they last you forever, you never have to get refills, and you're gonna get two envelopes, one red, one black. Now you don't need both, they're just preference. Do you like black, do you like red, what color studio you're wearing, what color is your backdrop, you wanna pick red, pick red. That is what you get for 45 bucks. You will also get a tutorial. The tutorial video is an hour and 15 minutes. Is it what I thought? Um, kind of, kind of, only because in the ad copy, it says at the top, like, off by none, off by none. And that is a nod to the phrase off by one, which uh, should make you think of Colossal Killer by Kenton Nepper. Is this similar to Colossal Killer? Yes. Colossal Killer is a handful of cards that enables you to pull out any card you want when the spectator says it's the blank and you just pull out a card out of your wallet, lightning fast. And sometimes you'll nail it. Sometimes <laughs> you'll be off by one. But in this trick, instead of being off by one, you won't be off at all. And the way you get there is through some really beautiful scripting. But there was something that I did get wrong. And this next thing that I'm gonna say is gonna be very controversial. It is. And there will be people that don't agree with me. And that's fine, that's fine. But I thought in order for the magician to correctly guess the spectator's card, there would have to be some equivocate. And there isn't. <laughs> There's no equivocate. Because traditional equivocate is ambiguous language. Ambiguous language would be something like, pick a color, red or black. The spectator says red, and you say, okay, we're gonna get rid of all the red cards. You don't say that in this routine. You don't say, pick a color, pick a suit. You don't say that. In fact, and this is, this is absolutely true, this part, this is absolutely true. As you're pulling the envelope out and you're asking the spectator, what card did you pick, at that point, you have no idea what card they picked. You do not know the color, the suit, or the value. You don't. You don't know. You don't know what they're going to say. You have no clue. And as soon as they say it, you go into the envelope and pull the card out. Yeah. So, is it well made? Like I said, the cards are uh, plastic. Okay, they're plastic. And that is to help do the trick. Okay, partially. F for the speed. And they're also made in such a way that even though this is not an index, there's an index aspect to it. There's no, there's no uh, shelves, there's no drawers, there's no pockets. But there's an, there is an index aspect to it. So I'm just saying, but how's the video? What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Like I said, it is an hour and 15 minutes. 
Um, you got Mark Lemon, he's seated in a darkened room. There's like a bulb hanging in the background. As far as what he teaches you, you get the trailer, the intro, and the setup. He's gonna walk you through the handling and then go very carefully through the scripting. He'll talk to you about how you would do this if you had to do this over Skype. How would you do it in a virtual show? Which you would think this would make it a weaker effect, but he has some very motivated scripting. He has some closing thoughts where he gives a lot of really great crediting. And then he follows that with three live performances that he does standing for each one with no table. Pocket space, it's just this envelope. Just this, this little envelope right here. That is how thin it is. This is the envelope flap, okay? There is an element of magic to this, but it's not really a big deal. And this also helps you pull the card out lightning fast. The envelope helps you do the work. All right, so how are the angles? Uh, this is angle sensitive, it is. And whereas you might initially think, oh, I can't have anyone behind me, you still could, you could. You could do this in a way that people could be behind you. And Mark Lemon does give you some tips on that. But yeah, there's an angle issue. Inspectability, nothing can be inspected. The cards cannot be inspected, nor can the envelopes be inspected. None of it can be inspected. Slice and difficulty level, anyone could do this trick. Anyone, literally anyone, with a little bit of practice. It does take practice. It is not as simple as just pulling one single card out of the envelope. It is not that simple. But I think with some practice, the same kind of practice that you would put into an index. Okay, the same kind of practice you would put into an index, but a little easier than that. You're not gonna have to spend as long because obviously you don't have 52 cards in the envelope, right? Sorry, the, you don't, <laughs> but nor do you have 25 cards in the envelope, okay? Or, and how many cards was Colossal Killer? Like it's, I don't remember, but yeah, you don't have that many cards in the envelope either. But um, it would take some practice, like the kind of practice that you would put into with a index, but a little easier than that. But anyone can pick this up, anyone. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, any, any and all skill levels. Set up and reset, you are gonna put the cards back into the envelope in a specific way. There is a very specific way, but it's not that many cards, the envelope's not that big, it's gonna take you seconds, literally seconds. Positives, this is a wonderful quickie. It is, that's, and that's kinda how you think about it. It's a really easy thing to put in your pocket instead of putting in a you know, giant index with a whole wallet sized deck of cards, you can do the same effect with just this envelope and the handful of cards that they give you. You can do the same exact effect. There's no confusing scripting. You're never gonna say, pick a color. Oh, so you picked red. So now you have two suits in red. You want diamonds or hearts. There's none of that kind of talk. There's none of that familiar equivoque that you've heard from other tricks. That is not here, okay? That is not here. Nothing feels forced. Nothing feels like there's fumbling. Nothing feels like counting, okay? There's no math and there's no deck. Negatives, the only negative to this whole thing is that the cards can't be examined at the end of this, right? That's it. Like that would be the, my only negative is that there's that little bit of an angle issue and you can't have the cards examined. I would make that same argument with Boave, right? Boave, you're in the same kind of situation. And Boave is a classic. Boave is in the top 10 pack of tricks of all time, right? And nobody would say anything bad about Boave. It's the same style of trick. You're asking for a suit, a color, you know, and then in a flash, that's the card they see, right? Very similar. And Everybody loves Boave. This trick is doing a Boave style trick, but instead of starting with saying, I have the four kings here, which is already narrowing, right? You're not starting with a narrowing beginning. The beginning of this, you are starting with a full deck of cards. An invisible deck of cards, but it's still a full deck. And you're not doing any sort of equivoque to narrow it down to one thing, okay? So as good as Boave is, I would say this is on par and very similar. This feels like, to me, this really feels like Boave and Colossal Killer got together and had a baby. That is the best way to describe this trick. It really is. 
like forget anything else you've ever heard about people who've just like, you know, assumed what this trick is. This is Colossal Killer and Boave got together and had a baby and it became the smallest, thinnest index in the world. <laughs> That's it. That's the best I can say. That's the best I can say. Is it worth your money? It's only 45 bucks. $45 and the cards are made out of plastic. You take care of it, it'll last you forever. And it's a super easy, ready to go, any card appears inside of an envelope trick. It's a great trick. And Mark Lemon, he's, he's brilliant. He really is. He's a great mentalist. I love so much stuff that Mark Lemon has put out, both independently and uh, with Peter Turner. I love how his mind thinks. If you like how his mind thinks too, if you've appreciated his tricks in the past, I think you're definitely going to love it. You can find PTSD at his website or wherever quality mentalism is sold. Thank you guys, and thanks to Mark Lemon. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.